so so excited to talk to you guys everything this year has been catering to my locks and getting them thicker as you know I've stressed this time and time again with my problem areas which I am proud to say no longer exists um, so I was having issues in the front with me not having any edges and as y'all can see your girl got the edges so if you um, do what you're supposed to and really really caters to your hair I guarantee you especially using natural and organic products your hair will grow even if they were no non-existent yes it took a year but I at least I have them now I don't have to get any kind of surgeries and stuff and as long as I continue to do what I'm supposed to do I believe they'll be there in the back oh I didn't even show y'all my locks let me show y'all okay this is two years of growth so as you can see it pays to start your locks being um, a little bit longer I really just didn't want to you know start off with short locks and then I like I gotta swoop my hair back to the side get my little sexy on I didn't want to start with shorter locks because I know by the time we got to the two year mark it would have been really really short so thank God that I had a little bit of length so the first six months I was retwisting every month still using the apple cider vinegar as a shampoo to basically moisturize my hair while clarifying my hair at the same time and then lately I've been using the Nairobi's this is like 32 ounces Nairobi's detoxifying shampoo and the Nairobi's professionals pamper refining um, conditioner and that's because I have my locks do my husband's locks as well as my clients locks and I just needed some a big bottle of something that had pretty good rating so I've been using those and then like the last five months I went on an extended semi free forming journey for two months I did absolutely no retwisting just to try to get my locks thicker and more healthier and um, I went on a, another three month pretty much of no retwisting where I just shampooed or not shampooed but conditioned co-washed my hair every week washed it uh, moisturized it <clears throat> brushed it to separate keep my parts separated and pretty much just left it alone and that's why my hair is so much more healthier it's still still uh, has this little skinniness to it as y'all can see but at the end of the day I don't have to worry about them popping off I'm not 
scared at all about them popping off. I feel like that semi free for me really helped it out so now I can go back into my regular regimen of retwisting every month. Once a month, that's it because of the size of my locks and the type of hair that I have. Yeah, as far as my retwisting product, I still use like the last few videos, my lock and twist pomade. Now I really wanted to talk to you guys about the lock and twist pomade because I've been seeing a whole bunch of videos online where people just are anti thick products and I just totally disagree with that. First of all, they're anti shea butters, they're anti beeswax, they're anti um um moisturizing shampoos and conditioners like that's these that's the stuff people complain about not having a product that locks their hair down but then they complain about you know oh I can't use a thick product so what other product are you going to use out there that's going to actually lock your hair down um a gel yeah maybe but then some gels don't work for everybody so you got to find that product that works for you I'm saying that because as you can see, as far as my last few videos, I use thick products. I use moisturizing products. I've never been anti-shea butter, anti-beeswax, anti-moisturizing products, and my hair is doing just fine. Um, for my type 4 hair, for my clients type 2 and 3 hair, um, for my husband's hair it just works for me so I really advise you guys to really do your research and try products out before you go and say well they said it's not good for me so I'm not gonna use it because I can as you can see um, speak from experience as far as using moisturizing prop, uh, products for your hair the only thing I would advise is if you are having problem with build up with thicker products then use something with ACV in it, apple cider vinegar, or use organic apple cider vinegar. This is my go-to because I do use thicker products. I don't have a problem with buildup, and I don't have a problem with stuff staying in my hair because when I shampoo, I always use uh, apple cider vinegar, um, and then I shampoo my hair, and then I condition it. So it gets all of that gunk and all that um, oils that I use for moisturizing my hair, all of the beeswax that I use in my products for, for my hair um yeah so that's pretty much my advice it's been a very very good journey so far um you've seen my videos if you have not I advise you to go and check those out if you're looking for some a good regimen to help you take care of your hair um I have all kinds of videos from tea rinses how to dye your hair naturally Okay, so I have been getting a lot of requests asking me what's in my lock and twist pomade. Now, before I go and let you know, I pretty much share everything. Everything I share is absolutely free information. The only thing that I'm not going to share is my lock and twist pomade formula what's in it and how I make it just because I am planning on selling this next year I know it's an absolutely great product and it works for my hair it works for my clients hair so um, that's just one thing that I'm just not willing to give to you guys just as of yet if you have not seen my video I posted a video I took that down just to get some information I am starting a natural hair company that caters to locks so over the years that I've been doing my hair, my husband's hair, and while I'm doing my client's hair, I'm at constantly asking questions, trying to figure out what it is that the majority wants in a natural hair care line and products and what do they need and stuff. And um, I'm figuring that out. So I promise you, by hopefully crossing fingers, by the end of next year, I will be introducing a great um, lock company out there for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it, but other than that, if you have any other videos that you would like me to share, any questions that you may have for me, any advice, any comments, statements, all of that good stuff, please leave that in the comments box below, and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That concludes the end of this video, and before I go, please share 
the videos, especially if it helps you. Um, I do read my my statistics for my videos, and I have, and I'm not toot my own horn. I'm not trying to be uh, conceited or anything, but I know I have a lot of videos that can really help people out. So share that. Sharing is caring, and y'all should not keep all this good information to y'all self. So please share. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram at naturalbeauty0214. Signing out. Peace.